Hi guys, welcome to OG Cars, and in today's video, we are looking at the Italy Trip number two car, the Alfa Romeo Alphacid, and we're going to be doing a service on it. Now, it did have a lot of work, which we will cover um, just before it went on our Italy Trip, including time about and the service anyway, but it's done a high mileage, and when I had to top up the oil once, it wasn't the right oil grade, so I figured it'd be best to just flush it all out, put the right oil in, and then we've got a freshly serviced, ready to go car. So here we can see our little oil pot ready to go. I did just use the breaker bar to undo the 12 mil iron socket on the sump. You can't really see it from here, to be honest, but further forward, um, it's pointing. Obviously the end is right at the front and the gearbox is on the back on these. And so it sort of angles that way. So um, it's a little bit hard to get to, but you can do it by feel on the front there. So I've cracked it off, done it back up. I'm going to run it up so that we've got the oil uh, nice and thin ready to come out now here's my new oil obviously i don't need this much but um 20w50 is always useful for other cars so i thought i'd buy it in bulk get it a bit cheaper i've gone for car loop daytona 20w50 and this is the right stuff for the alpha male officer as well as far as i can see the api secc specification stuff so i think we've got about four liters of that goes in this car um so we've got some spare after that so yeah let's go run it up now get that oil out and then we can uh, change the filter as well and I may as well show you while we're here. Here's the oil filter. It's a Mile 1, which I managed to get off eBay for £5. And uh, well, can't go wrong for that. Decent brand. So there we are. Big old oil filter. Let's get to it. So here we are under the forward facing bonnet. We've got our big old oil filter here on the passenger side for this because it's left hand drive. And we've got our dipstick just down here as well, which we're going to need, and our oil fill is on the other side there. Obviously the expansion tank I still need to look at. I've used this car in the UK a fair few times now. We will do a uh, proper video on the Alphacid very soon. Um, but yeah, I do need to, I just want to service this and I want to sort that out. So I'm either going to buy the plastic tank or try and repair that one because uh, it's certainly um, pretty much gone now. You can see the oil down there that we used to uh, top it up with. That's some Elf Evolution 15W40, which I've now used the rest of in another car anyway. It's good grade oil. But ultimately, um, well, Elf is a good brand, but being 50W40, and I've put it in a car that takes 20W50, or at least had 20W50 at the last service, isn't ideal. So what we're going to do now is just start it up and get all of that warm so we can get it drained. So now that the car is warm, I've killed it off and I've started to undo the filter. Now normally you can get like a, a free claw uh, oil filter removal sort of tool and then use a breaker bar on it and then do it like that. However, I left that at work. So I went for the old screwdriver trick. So I just tapped a screwdriver um, with a hammer into there and then leave it around. So now you can hear all of the oil draining out now that it's been undone very slightly. And uh, yeah, what I'll do now is spin it off and then oil the um sealing uh well the seal on the new filter and then spin the new one on right that is the oil filter on there tightened up by hand all good so now we're going to get underneath move the pot along and drain the rest of the oil so that's the sump bolt out and the oil bucket is catching all of the oil there so what i'm going to do is leave this for now start fixing the box of astro which you'll see in another video and then we will quickly reconvene So I've been working on the Astra, doing the rear brake cylinders, pipes and wheel bearings. And uh, you join us another day later and we're back on the Alpha. So I left it to drain overnight as well. So all of that old oil is in this lovely bucket over here. Um, to be fair, there was remnants of dark oil in there anyway, but um, it was still quite dark considering it's done, what, about 2000 kilometers, although it has done some UK mileage as well since then. So it's worth doing an oil change anyway. So I've done up the sun plug at the bottom. I'm just going to take out the oil cap now and put in our lovely Daytona 20W50 oil. So 
So that's four litres topped up in the engine now. So we'll just run it up for a few moments and then we can dip the oil and then we're all done on the oil and filter change. So you rejoin me now, several days later. It's horrible outside, it's raining, and uh, the service, we completed obviously, and all I had to do was dip the oil. And I'm not gonna be as mundane to show you, but there is oil on the dipstick, so that's all good, and the service is all finished. But you may also see that I've done something else over here. So if we walk around, you can see there's a plastic expansion tank. Now, don't mind this, Basically, on the metal expansion tank, you had this join on the top part of the expansion tank. Here on the left side, and it's on the right side on these new um, Sud Shop plastic ones. Um, but yeah, it's good quality. This pipe I managed to cut down a bit because it was actually too long and it was fouling against the light. So I've used that bit there, and I have the metal joiner piece, which is from the metal one here, because it came round. I cut the end, oh, actually it was this bit um, that went to the red pipe. I cut that bit off and then I put it in between there. So I've got a metal joiner, which is the right size because this pipe goes on it anyway. And um, I've just screwed them up. So being the right size, that should all be happy and fine. So uh, I'm yet to test it uh, because it's horrible outside and I don't want to get the opposite out. But this car is now ready to go. So the service is done, oil's checked, and the expansion tank is done. So that is everything we need to do there. So what I'm gonna do now is wrap up the video here Thanks very much, guys, for watching. The next video on the Alpha should hopefully be a proper, just overall introduction and almost like the old Hour Garage style video where we just go around it, show you it, and all of that. So we'll go somewhere nice for that very shortly. Thanks again for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll hope to see you all in the next one.